With your story recorded and saved as an MP3, you could go ahead and add that to a website. So I set it up to where students could add their story to a website. With the story saved as an MP3, I'm going to go to something called Audiopel. So I'll go ahead and type in Audiopel for my Google search. And it is that top one. I'll select that. An audio message gets people's attention. And then click on Get Yours. It's free. With this window, you're going to go ahead and choose the upload audio file. You'll browse for it, and then you're going to locate it where you saved it for this project. In this case, it's Julie, so I'll select Julie. I will then say Upload. Once it's uploaded, the preview will play. In this, you're going to go ahead and type in your email address so that they can send you the code. And then you click on Get It and then you click on OK. Then you would go to your email to retrieve the code. When you open the link to Audiopel in your email, there will be an option for click here to publish your audio. When this window loads, you're going to click on copy where it says embed code. Copy that and then you go back to the site where you want to add the code. So in this case it's Julie. I will go into edit mode on my Google site. I will type in Julie. To embed the code, go into the HTML and notice we're going to be replacing student to story. So I'm going to go to HTML. I will do control F and type in student to and notice I found the student to story. I will select that text only. It's really important. Don't select anything but the student to story in this example. And then do control V for paste. Go back to update. You will then click up here inside of the Julie box, hit the backspace because there's too much space there, and now click Save. And now Julie has her Audiopel player for this project. This concludes the session on how to add an audio story to a website. Until next time, you have a wonderful day.